Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to study about marginal, joint, as well as conditional probabilities. After understanding the core concept of this marginal, joint, and conditional probabilities, we will also have a look upon the marginal, joint, and conditional entropy. So let's discuss the first point that is marginal probability. So it is the probability of occurrence of a single event only. So it is denoted by P of A, where A is the event to be occurred and P of A shows the occurrence of event A. Second type of probability is the joint probability. As its name suggests, it is joint, means more than one. That's why we can say that the probability of occurrence of two events simultaneously can be shown by joint probability only. So, in case of the joint probability, here are the two cases, in case of the dependent events and in case of independent events. Let's discuss about the dependent event first. So here are the two events, event A and event B and the probability of or we can say that the joint probability of event A and B is given as the probability of A in product with the probability of B over A. Also, the joint probability of event A and B can be denoted as probability of B in multiplication with probability of A over B. So these are the two representation in case of the dependent events of joint probability. Similarly, if we talk about the independent events in case of joint probability, then we can say that the joint probability of event A and B is equal to the product of the probability of event A and probability of event B. So this is all about the marginal as well as joint probability. Now let us have a look at the third type of probability that is conditional probability. As its name suggests, it will evaluate the probability of events based on some conditions. So it is the probability of occurrence of one event when the other event has already been occurred. It says that if it will evaluate the probability of occurrence of first event, then it will happen only when the second event has already been occurred. Now in case of the conditional probability, here are also two events, that is the dependent events and independent events. So discussing about the dependent events, the Conditional probability of event A when the event B has occurred is equal to the joint probability of event A and B over the marginal probability of event B. Or we can also say that the conditional probability of event B when the event A has occurred will be equal to the joint probability of event A and event B over the marginal probability of event A. So this is the formula for the evaluation of conditional probability in case of dependent event. Let's have a look at the formula for the independent events. So the conditional probability for the occurrence of event A when the event B had occurred already will be equal to the marginal probability of event A only. Similarly, we can say that the conditional probability of event B when the event A occurred will be equal to the marginal probability of event B. Now let us have a look at the conversion of marginal probability into the joint probability. So here are the two formula for the conversion that is P of Xi will be equal to summation of J ranges from 1 to M the joint probability of P of Xi and Yi. Similarly, if we want to calculate and convert P of Yj in terms of the joint probability, then we can write it as summation the value of I ranges from 1 to N the joint probability of event X and Y. So this is all about the 
conditional probability as well as the conversion from the marginal probability into the joint probability. Now let us have a look at the marginal joint as well as conditional entropy. Now consider the two independent events x and y. So for every x there are n symbols and these symbols starts from x of 1, x of 2, x of 3 and ends at x of n because there are n symbols. Similarly for the independent event y there are m number of symbols. That's why its value starts from y of 1, y of 2, y of 3 and then that's y of m. Now let's discuss about the marginal entropy. So what do we mean by marginal entropy? So for the event x the marginal entropy is denoted by h of x that we already discussed and its formula is summation i equals to 1 to n p of xi log base 2 1 over p of xi where p of xi is nothing but marginal probability of the occurrence of event x. Now this formula can also be rewritten like this and it shows the average uncertainty in input. Similarly, if we talk about the marginal entropy for the event y, then it will be given as h of y whose value will be similar to this formula that is summation j equals to 1 to m with the negative symbol p of yj log base 2 p of yj and it shows the average uncertainty in output. So this is all about the marginal entropy. Now let us have a look at the second type of entropy that is joint entropy. Let's this space represent h of x and this represent h of y. Then the integration between these two intersection will represent h of x comma y that is nothing but joint entropy. So the joint entropy of the event x and y is given as minus of summation i ranges from 1 to n summation of j ranges from 1 to m the joint probability of event x and y log base 2 joint probability of event x and y and it is also called average uncertainty remain in both input and output. So this is all about the joint entropy. Now let us have a look at the third type of entropy that is conditional entropy. So the formula for the conditional entropy is given as h of x over y that is equals to minus of summation i ranges from 1 to n summation j ranges from 1 to m p of xi yj log base 2 p of xi over yj and it shows the average uncertainty remain in input when the output y is observed.
similarly the second formula that is h of y over x is given as minus of summation i ranges from 1 to n summation j ranges from 1 to m p of xi yj log base 2 p of yj over xi and it shows average uncertainty remain in it output when the input that is x is transmitted so here is the average uncertainty remain in input when the output y is observed but in case of this formula that is h of y over x it shows the average uncertainty remain in output when the input is transmitted so this is all about the marginal joint as well as conditional probabilities as well as entropy if you like my content then do subscribe my channel and please hit the bell icon for further updates thank you